Vladimir Putin signed into law the annexation of four regions of Ukraine on Wednesday, even as Ukrainian forces make major advances in those regions. Amy Kellogg has more. Russian President Vladimir Putin signing laws on Wednesday, officially declaring 15 percent of Ukrainian territory now belongs to Russia. But it's a different story on the battlefield. Russia still suffering big losses as the Ukrainian counteroffensive rolls on. Officials in Kiev say the military is now making a, quote, fast and powerful advance in the south. At least seven towns liberated on Wednesday as Ukrainian forces inch closer to the key port city of Kherson. We have seen their successes on the battlefield as we have seen uh, them take, it, take back even territory that was uh, supposedly annexed uh, just a couple days ago. The Kremlin says the setbacks won't have an impact on the annexation plans, claiming the Russian military is regrouping for a counteroffensive. But it won't be easy. More American arms and ammo are on the way to Ukraine, part of a $625 million aid package announced on Tuesday. Ukraine has demonstrated the ability to use these capabilities to degrade Russian logistics and command and control, creating opportunities for Ukraine to maneuver and to advance. Moscow is also accelerating the training of some 200 thousand reservists recently mobilized under orders from Putin, with senior officers now ordered to spend more time preparing troops for life on the front lines. I'm calling on commanders to carry out additional training in combat situations under the direction of officers with combat experience. And as they lose more territory in Ukraine, Russian forces are increasing their use of Iranian-made drones, often against civilians. In Milan, Amy Kellogg, Fox News.